Here's another video for those of you who are wondering how you would form up a three step, three winder step concrete stairway. So let's go ahead and form this baby up. Now this gives you an idea of what the stairway looks like after it's poured and I think this helps us visualize how we can form it because really forming anything is just kind of like reverse engineering it. And you can see here where this one has some real narrow steps on the inside. And I don't have any fancy cuts over here. A lot of times you can just screw these together or use the duplex nails to fasten all of this together. And I also want to point out that a miter like this probably isn't going to be easy to do with a circular saw. So you might want to focus on something like this. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at how I'm using the 2 by form board. That's an inch and a half thick. And you can see here where once we remove this, we're going to end up with a large gap here. And that could be a problem, something you're not going to want to do. You're going to want to get the concrete as close to the building as possible. And maybe a half inch gap would be acceptable. However, something like this might not be. Now let's go ahead and take a look at it one more time. The miter that would be difficult to make and again would suggest using this one over here. Something you could do fairly easy and of course you can let this extend over and drive some stakes in the ground at this side too if you wanted to. And don't forget to check with your local building department before building something like this because some building departments have changed their code to where they have a six inch minimum at the inside edge of the winder steps or the narrowest part of the stairway which means you might need to build something like this here and of course I have a different miter here and as always in my videos I'm just trying to provide you with different ways to build something like this and don't forget you could always build something like this inside your garage and then bring it out to where it's going to be located if that's going to be easier for you and if you notice here we are using a small board something about a quarter of an inch thick but you might need to put a piece of metal behind it to prevent it from damaging the foundation or any of your wood framing and I do have other videos on that at our website and if this method will work for you then definitely use it and you can see here how everything is going to be assembled and all of the pieces cut and I will be providing you with measurements and some of the angles for this if you were going to build this exact stairway. And of course this stairway is designed to meet the newer building codes. However, I would definitely check with your local building department to verify all of the measurements and make sure that it's going to work in your area. Next up, let's go ahead and see if I can provide you with some of the measurements here, along with some of the angles that might work for your project. And to see if I can make things easier, I will go ahead and read off the measurements here. And this board right here is going to be 4 foot 3 and 15 sixteenths. This one here is going to be 4 foot and 15 sixteenths of an inch. And over here we're going to have 3 foot 5 inches. And then this board right here will be 6 and 5 sixteenths inches. Along with a 22 and a half degree angle here and a 22 and a half degree angle here. And that's the angle that you would set your circular saw or your miter saw. And once we nailed these together, this would create a 45 degree angle here and a 45 degree angle here. Next measurement here is going to be six and a half inches from long point to long point, and then seven and 13 sixteenths inches here. For the next step, we will be using the same board, 4 foot 3 and 15 sixteenths. However, over here we are going to be using 1 foot 9 and 9 sixteenths of an inch. And this board will have an angle at 120 degrees. However, the angle for this cut will be 30 degrees. And the next board here will be 3 foot 9 and 7 eighths of an inch, along with a 7 and 1 sixteenths inch board here. And that will be from the inside corner to the outside corner. And then this board here will be 7 and 13 sixteenths of an inch and that will measure from here to here. And then the angle for this board here and this one will be 22 and a half degrees. And then the angle for this will be 37 and a half degrees. 
And for the upper step, we will have a 30 degree angle here and 30 degree angles over here, along with a 8 and 11 16 inch board here from this point to this point. And then from long point to long point here, we're going to have 3 foot 9 and 5 eighths of an inch. And then, of course, this board could be a little bit longer. However, the point where this will die into here is going to be 2 foot 5 and 3 quarter inches. And now let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to need for our board back here. And that will be a piece of plywood that's going to be 3 foot 5 inches. And it's going to be 1 foot 10 and a half inches tall. And I would like you to keep in mind that I took all of these measurements off of this model and I have not verified any of them. So if you do build a stairway like this, keep that in mind. And if everything does work, feel free to let us know by leaving a comment in the comment area.